Hey everyone, actually doing something other than a ZX4RR today. My Aprilia RS250 Harada bike, it's a 2000 Mark II, um, had some pilot jet clog issues. So yeah, it's time to do it again. Take out the carbs and clean them. I'm pretty much an expert on this. And um, I do it in the laziest way possible. I leave the uh, slides and throttle cables hooked up, yank the carbs out, and I do take the opportunity to do a bit of cleaning. Um, but most importantly over here, you gotta totally disassemble the carbs. I don't care what anybody says, you do, they do not get clean unless you take them all apart. You aren't just spraying some carb cleaner through them and slapping them back in. These are gonna go in the ultrasonic cleaner and um, then this bad boy will be ready to rock again. Um, the reason why the RS250 came out is because now the ZX4RR is uh, in full track mode. So it's no longer going to be available for the street. Um, so we're going to bring this plated little beauty out and go, uh, you know, it, it's a hybrid vehicle. It burns oil and gas. So very environmentally conscious of... Uh, the uh, Italians at Aprilia to create such a uh, efficient vehicle with only 70 horsepower. It pushes around a little more than 300 pounds. And uh, this one's got some goodies like the Owens rear shock, got an Owens damper. It's got some other really nice uh, Italian billet triple clamps and, uh, you know, Woodcraft uh, clip-ons and rear sets and you know uh, the t3 chain adjusters um, and of course this one's got the aero pipes coated so they don't get all rusty and ugly um, and you know we've got the pirelli sc3s those are great tires got the awesome license plate rs250 of course and um, you know carbon fiber bits here and there just you know front fender rear fender and this one uh, has the headlight cover. I am looking for an upper fairing though, because this one was cut. Believe it or not, this bike used to have handlebars here. The gentleman who owned it before me had handlebars on it. It was probably the only one in the world. And uh, I converted it back, but um, I don't know. I kind of kind of like the shorter fairing, but I want to try the longer one just to remember what that's like. Um, it extended back to probably about here. It changes the look of the bike a little bit, but they're very hard to find. So I'm just kind of living with it for now. But anyway, this is the Saturday morning carburetor cleaning extravaganza on this RS250. And I uh, just wanted to take you guys along and show you this other little pint-sized rocket that I do own. And, uh, you know, don't, uh, don't believe what they tell you. Smoking is not always bad for you. Sometimes it's okay. And in the case of GP-style 1990s motorbikes, it is definitely okay. Take care, folks. Enjoy.